Today we pick up our Bible study in 1 Corinthians chapter 14, verses 13 through 17. In 1 Corinthians chapter 14, verses 13 through 17, the Apostle Paul reiterates with what seems to be a pleading cry to the congregation of the church at Corinth, the importance of an interpreter for someone speaking in tongues. Paul wants them to understand what they are praying for and that it be more than mere babbling as he teaches us in 1 Corinthians chapter 14, verses 7 through 9. He declares in 1 Corinthians chapter 14, verses 13 through 17, as I quote from the New King James Version, Therefore, let him who speaks in a tongue pray that he may interpret. For if I pray in a tongue, my spirit prays, but my understanding is unfruitful. What is the conclusion then? I will pray with the spirit, and I will also pray with the understanding. I will sing with the spirit, and I will also sing with the understanding. Otherwise, if you bless with the Spirit, how will he who occupies the place of the uninformed say, Amen, at your giving of thanks, since he does not understand what you say? For you indeed give thanks well, but the other is not edified. This is a command to pursue understanding in the gift that God has given you, that others may be edified through God working in your life. I believe the best example for this situation would be if we were all in church expecting to hear a good sermon, but the sermon was preached in a foreign language to all of us. No one would understand anything nor gain any wisdom or knowledge from it unless there was an interpreter there to explain what was being said. Then we would all gain understanding, wisdom, and knowledge to grow in our relationships with God as Christians. Dear Lord, in all that you give us, in all that you bless us with through the working of your Holy Spirit in our lives, please let us utilize it as your will for us in edifying not just ourselves, but others, that we would share the gospel message through our lives that others may see you in us and be drawn to you through your working in our lives. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. If you'd like to learn more about the Bible and how you can apply its lessons in your life, join us each day as we reach out to share Jesus with the world and help us all find purpose in life. Subscribe to our channel, turn on your notifications, and don't forget to share YouTube at In Christ Ministries with all your family and friends.